Hey, hey, it's David Bear here from Bear on Marketing, and we're going to take a look inside the Kartra platform. Now, Kartra is uh, currently in beta, and um, it is a platform to manage product sales, um, email marketing, uh, membership sites, video hosting, uh, as well as affiliate um, uh, management and promotions. And uh, I'm actually navigating through this for the very first time right now. So even though I've clicked around a little bit, uh, you and I are going to be discovering uh, a lot of this together. Now, as I said, this is in beta. Uh, I am uh, uh, playing around, getting a, a chance to sort of see what's inside, uh, share some feedback uh, with the developers, and uh, it should be launched uh, within the next month or so. I can't quite remember what they had said um, in their last communication, but I wanted to show you what's inside and uh, give you some details on what you can take advantage of if you decide that this is a good tool for you. So as you can see over here on the left-hand side, uh, there's several different um, sections, uh, the products, campaigns, pages, so it's a whole page builder section as well, uh, memberships, videos, help desks, and then affiliate promos. And then up on the top, you can see that there's details uh, inside the, the product section. Uh, the products, you can have um, uh, things like uh, coupons and, and uh, sales tax. Uh, if you have partners who you're uh, selling a product together with, you have the ability to manage that. Uh, you can manage your affiliates. Um, do analytics on uh, on all of the sales, on the affiliate stuff, uh, transactions, and then you can integrate with payment gateways. Um, I assume it's Stripe and PayPal and probably other things. Let's let's take a look, because um, I've not. Yeah, okay. So and authorized.net and then Braintree, which basically is PayPal. I I don't actually understand what the difference is between PayPal and Braintree because I'm pretty sure they're same the same thing. But uh, if you do know, leave leave, leave some uh, comment down below and. Uh, <laughs> Clarify that for me. Okay, so um, here is a product um, set up, and basically we're gonna just walk through how uh, products get set up. So it's pretty, it's it's pretty intuitive. There's a, you know, if it's if you need to create a new product, there's this pulsating thing right here that says create new product, and it sort of uh, walks you through the process step by step. So uh, you'll come in and it'll ask for uh, each of these stages the basic information. Uh, if this thing actually loads. All right, so this is a little slow. I will I will let them know about that. So, uh, and you'll see that there's like a little question mark where you can hover over everything that you need to enter. So uh, this one, it says the internal name, and then it's only for your reference, uh, the official name. So this is the one that people are going to see, uh, a description which will be public as well. Um, and then should it be listed publicly in the marketplace? There's a marketplace uh, available for people who are creating products and want to offer um uh, it for affiliates to to promote as well as for uh, the public to buy. Uh, and then is this a main product or an upsell or downsell product? So I'm going to just um, do a bunch of placeholders here. We'll call it test, test product. Um, this is my description. And let's say, yes, let's keep it in the marketplace. And then it's... Uh, uh, you know, what's what's the niche? Let's say it's religion just because that happens to be there and let's <laughs> let's make it about Islam, why not? And this can be a main product and that will allow us to advance uh, a little bit further. Okay, so now we have this main product and then we can connect. Um, I'm going to say that we're accepting PayPal and I have to select a PayPal account. I actually haven't set up a PayPal account so it may not let me uh, advance beyond this unless I, yep, it says that I have to integrate a payment gateway and then so I'll have to go do that before I can advance any further. So uh, we probably won't get to go through much more of this, except I'll show you at the top here. Um, the next step would be pricing, then the contents of what it is that we're selling. Uh, so uh, either I'm uploading something here or, um, you know, I, I'm not entirely sure what the contents would be, but that's my guess is that that's, that's what we're delivering. Uh, maybe it's maybe I'm simply uh, entering a URL uh, to show people um, where they can uh, register for it, and that's probably over here in the, the memberships area. Uh, checkout page, post sale, so there might be an upsell opportunity. Uh, the affiliate setup, so uh, defining things like uh, what what the affiliate payout is, if I'm even you know going to open it up to affiliates, and then there's probably like one final confirmation page. So 
that's my guess on on that uh let's see i'm going to just click on coupons because i want to see how that all works okay so you can define coupons you can also this is kind of cool uh, only for VIP affiliates. So let's say that I want to allow uh, a single affiliate um, or just certain affiliates to uh, have a special promotional price. Uh, that's an option uh, as well. And, and then um, I guess that we can hide the coupon um, uh, field so that people can't um, won't, won't think, hey, is there a coupon uh, for this product? And then go out searching for, you know, on Google, uh, whatever, XYZ product um, coupon. All right, let's see what else. So affiliates, um, I'm going to just click in that area. So this is a, a standard affiliate management for this product. Um, let's go into the settings area since, uh, again, I have no, no product here. So I have to uh, either set up manual approval or I can change that to probably automated approval. Let's see what the options are. Yeah, so I can auto approve. Um, affiliates. Uh, again, I have to connect PayPal here. Um, could this be product specific or account wide? So this is probably an option where I I can af um, approve affiliates product by product or um, once an affiliate is set up, I can say that this is account wide. And therefore, if somebody else who that affiliate brings me, um, buys other stuff from me in the future, the affiliate would still get paid on all of that person's purchases. Uh, do we want to require tax forms and, and other stuff? So this is pretty thorough. And, uh, are there are specific questions that we want to ask of the affiliate when they sign up? So I, I this is, this is actually kind of cool. Okay, and there's the payout history and stuff like that. I want to just jump ahead to see what some of these other areas are because uh, as this thing fleshes out, obviously there's there's more um, uh, tutorials that uh, I can make online. Okay, so this is the My Campaigns, and this is the email marketing portion of Kartra. Um, I created a test list. I was playing around with this the, uh, the other day. Um, and what I was able to do was go in and, and create the test list. And then uh, you can actually build out campaigns with broadcast emails, um, sequence uh, emails. You can create forms, so like uh, um, sign up forms. I'll, let me click on that because, um, okay, let's see. So you can create a form. And this was just my standard form. So, uh, all right, not, not anything I can show you from this view. And then um, you can also create automation so you can define uh, if this, then that statements. So like if somebody opens an email, then uh, apply a tag to them. Or if they click on a link, then send them an email. So uh, it's a whole bunch of automation uh, sequences that you can you can create. The one thing I'm, I'm seeing here that's not... Um, uh, that's missing is I don't have the ability to uh, define and and some platforms have this some don't I can't define right now based on what they have uh, if someone lands on a specific web page so uh, then do something and that's an action that happens outside of the email uh, marketing platform here which means that I'd like have to drop a code on a particular play, uh, page on on the web, and that's not um, a trigger that these guys are uh, currently offering, at least not that I see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so it's not something that I see as an option right now, and it's something I'm going to be requesting from them. All right, my pages. So if you want to uh, create landing pages. Um, they have this really cool drag and drop builder. Let's uh, just dive into it so you can see. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a, a page. Uh, and there's all sorts of different templates over here. So uh, squeeze pages, video sales pages, thank you pages, long form sales pages, coming soon pages, product launch pages, uh, product review pages, and webinar registration pages. Of course, uh, these are the uh, the same folks who have created Webinar Jam, and uh, and so they know the webinar registration stuff uh, pretty well. Okay, I'm just going to look at squeeze pages, and you can see that there's a ton of samples here that we can go in, and you can see there, these are modeled after some, uh, some pretty, um, you know, typical ones that you'll find in, in other platforms, and uh, and some of these are, are looking pretty good to me. So, um, so here you go. So we can preview this one. Uh, and if we like it, we can go ahead and select it. In this case, I'm, I don't like it. So let's go back and find another one. Let's select this one. And 
All right, so it's selected. Oh, and then launch builder, there it is. So uh, we're gonna call this test and I don't have a project that I'm going to uh, assign that to, but I could create a specific project that I'm gonna assign it to. And then it's loading the page builder and we'll take a look at the drag and drop page builder. Um, kind of curious about this. So again, uh, a little bit of lag in terms of the speed here, and that could be me, that may not be their platform. Um, and so here is the test page and it's loading all the, uh, the content. There's a, okay, it's the first time I come in here, there's a, a tutorial, um, doesn't actually give me the option to not start the tutorial, so I'll go ahead and start it. Uh, and it's gonna show me how to do the, the various drag and drop stuff. All right, can I close out of the tutorial? That's what I want to know. No. Uh, so, let's, I guess we'll advance through the sections of the tutorial. All right, where it's showing me all the different things that uh, uh, appear off to the left and, and how this all works, uh, how I can um, uh, adjust. This is interesting for desktop and tablet and phone view. Um, column mode and component mode, that's kind of useful. Okay, and then various actions um, uh, in this drop down menu here. Okay, so I'm going to say don't show again, let's get started. And we're going to jump in here. And so now I have um, this this drag and drop builder. Now I have this um, logo where it's asking me, okay, do I want to replace my logo? I don't want the word your logo um, sitting here. So I can go ahead and uh, say, yeah, I would like to change that. And um, should be should be more intuitive than this, but let's see. I want to get my logo in here, and I'm not seeing where that is. So, all right. So obviously, I wasn't paying a lot of attention when we went through that uh, um, tutorial. I really just wanted to get in here and start playing around with it. And you know, sometimes it's not a good idea to uh, uh, to just dive into things without uh, reading instructions. So um, I'll, I'll probably play around with this in more detail um, later on when I have the ability to uh, uh, take time and I'm not uh, walking you through uh, this kind of thing. But hmm, I, I'm kind of curious, you know, how this all works. And so uh, forgive me if, if I'm just like clicking around here. I want to see if I can... Uh, uh, discover, you know, how do I replace this this logo here? Um, and frankly, I'm still not seeing it. I was guessing that there might be. Okay, so I could upload an image. Let's see if I can upload um, you know, one of my logos. So let's go into a Baron Marketing folder and let's, uh, let's try my square logo. Okay, so it's currently working on uploading it, and let's see if it's actually going to. All right, so there we go. I've selected it, confirm, and apply. Ah, that's in the background, so that's not what I want. What I want is to replace this, your logo here. I guess I'm going to have to go through the tutorial and figure out how to do that because this is not what I wanted. But there you go. So now you can see it's uh, it's kind of a cool drag and drop builder, I think. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out exactly how, oh, I, maybe I needed the component mode and not the column mode, uh, to, ah, there we go. There we go. Now I have, that was the problem. All right. So here I could actually apply this, which is what I wanted. And now I'm going to have my logo there at the top. We'll go back to the column mode. I will get rid of that background. Okay, let's take that image. And what I want to do is actually I want to get rid of that lo that image in the background. So that's a good question. How do you get rid of if I can say no? No, I don't want it. All right, that's a good question. That's kind of cool that they had uh, all of those. All right, so no image selected. What if I hit apply? It's going to get rid of the image that I had there. May not. Okay, so that's a, that's another good thing. I should uh, send them a note that says, you know, once an image is in there, I don't seem to have the ability to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the case. So let's go ahead and say, oh, maybe I just say unselect. Wait. 
Nope, because then I can't confirm anything. All right, so let's get rid of that. Delete. No, it's it, if I delete it, then that one's going to go away too. Okay, cancel. All right, let's select and confirm and apply. All right, so so we got we got a couple of issues here that I'm going to share with them uh, as we move forward. But I'm pretty sure I think I changed the image background there. Did I? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We're going to undo. Let's uh, return to the dashboard. Yes, let's exit. I like the fact that it's prompting me saying, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Um, it's giving me plenty of opportunity to back out of stuff. Uh, memberships. So let's take a look at memberships. That's cool. Split testing, by the way, of, of different pages. Uh, memberships, so you can manage uh, uh, member uh, content here. Um, and if you would like, you can uh, host your videos right in this platform as well. So host files, videos, uh, so you don't need to use uh, Vimeo or Wistia or YouTube or Amazon S3 for that matter. Uh, you can upload all of your videos right into this platform. The My Help Desks uh, is a section where you can create support ticket uh, management and uh, all of that right here inside. So you, if you want to have uh, um, FAQs, if you want to have um, the ability to, uh, cool, canned response. I didn't even notice that. Canned responses is an option here as well. So if you want to automate the responses uh, that you are providing um, to frequently asked questions, uh, you can do that there. Uh, and then uh, various tickets and things like that. And then uh, affiliate management. And in this case, right, I can look in the marketplace. So I'm an affiliate for a couple of um, products here that they already uh, sell. Uh, but I can look in the marketplace and find cool blogging templates. Maybe that's something I want to, um, uh, to promote. And so I can check that out. I can go ahead and get the, the link and request the link if I want to. So I can uh, sign up as an affiliate for this particular thing uh, and go through and see what else there is to offer and see if it's uh, a good fit for uh, my audience. There's not a ton of stuff in here uh, quite yet. Again, this is um, in beta. So uh, there's just, just a handful of people who are probably playing around with uh, creating products to, to put in here at this point. Um, so that's a pretty quick overview of all of this. Um, but uh, it, it's my first look, and uh, I've already made a, a note of a couple of things that I want to share with them uh, about um, uh, in the my campaigns, the automation around uh, um, website tracking, and then uh, obviously in the the page builder that uh, the, the ability to undo or get rid of a a, uh, a background uh, or an image that I've I've posted. So I'll, I'll share that with those guys. Uh, and um, hey, if you have any questions whatsoever about Kartra, um, feel free to reach out to me, and I will leave a link. I'm not sure when this thing goes live uh, or is available for. Uh, uh, public uh, access, but uh, I will leave a link here uh, on the um, uh, the video so that you can check out Kartra uh, for yourself. Hey, this is David Bear from Bear on Marketing. Thanks so much for checking out this video. And if you'd like to hear from me on a regular basis, head on over to bearonmarketing.com and sign up to get my regular email tips on how to be a more effective and more profitable marketer for your own business online. Take care.